Hi guys, hope you guys are all doing well. This is Dr. Khan. Uh, may peace be upon you and your families during this trying time. Today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, the, the coronavirus uh, and how to process it, or any challenge and how to process it, right? It's all about uh, perspective. And basically changing your perspective into this is a blessing in disguise. This situation is actually a blessing in disguise, right? And how, how do we do that? How do we change our perspective? Firstly, you want to understand three facts, right? You want to understand three facts. I will go through each of them. Then I will talk about uh, what problems will occur during this time, right? Or you've already be, are seeing um, some learnings and then some solutions and grounding exercises. So that is the goal for today. So number one, um, the first fact is there's always going to be two polarities. There's always going to be positives and negatives. There's always going to be blessings and hardships and that's that's just the way life is right god promised us this that they will be both of these two polarities right and understanding that without the negatives you will never see the positives right so there's always there will be negatives so you can see the positives there will be negatives um the hardships to test us right so understanding this fact uh the second the second uh fact is that the second fact is that uh the part, purpose of hardships is basically to put us in alignment, to put the universe in alignment, right? Certain situations happen because it's pre-planned and it, there's a purpose behind it, right? So uh, this will help us increase our conscious conscious behavior, right? It will make us more aware. It will, it will make us more present. Uh, so how? Uh, think about this already, right? We're more present parents, right? We're, we're, we actually, we have less on our plate right because we're home uh we savor each bite when we eat so again we're much more present uh we are connecting more with our families our extended families we are uh using social media in a proper way right our kids are learning how to use it in a proper way so it's, it's basically this situation has caused us to be, to come back into alignment right it is allowing us to heal it's allowing us to rest it's allowing us to connect with god more to spirituality they're there to connect to become more spiritual so again understanding that the purpose of hardship is to put us in alignment to put the universe in alignment okay the third fact it's part of the process right it's not personal so every hundred years or so uh, plagues happen right or um n n such as in addition natural disasters are part of the process it's part of the process so it's not personal it's pre-planned it's not oh my goodness what happened why is this happening to me it's more it's already pre-planned right it's part of the process it's inevitable so it's our reactions to it it's always our reactions what are we going to do it how are we going to handle it right are we going to take the necessary precautions right so these are the three facts another thing you do want to interject and put in here is this that that i want to add here is this that sometimes if you're already going through um situations or if you've just dealt with a loss or something you might think oh my goodness this is another an, another big another thing on my plate another thing on my plate do not do not convolute it right it's separate events that are happening right it, there's a bigger purpose behind it so understand that again just like there's like in life think about it as like going to college right there's going to be unit exams and then there's going to be a big midterm when there's a lot of things that happen at once but again it's not personal right so not internalizing this and creating more anxiety because of it <clears throat> okay so those are the three facts okay let me say them again there's always going to be two polarities right positive and negatives it's just it, it it's it's a given number two the purpose of hardship is to align us right to grow us in some way push us number three it's part of the process right natural disasters plagues are part of the process challenges are part of the process okay great so now what are problems that will occur what are some problems that will occur during this time number one there's going to be neurotic behavior is going to increase. It's just, it's going to increase. And um, old habits will increase, negative habits of certain individuals because it's hard for them to um, handle the stress, right? So you will see those behaviors within families or just outside, inner and out, outer 
uh, situations, you will see those neurotic behaviors increase. So because there's a fear of the unknown, right? And so a lot of grounding exercises must be um, applied. You need to know what works for you. You might need to go out and take a break, an hour break where you take a walk and a, you know, and obviously being cautious, keeping the six feet rule, whatever. You wanna make sure you're doing, the, applying those. But again, those old habits will reappear in some, certain individuals more than others, okay? Um, and if it is affecting you, maybe you might need to maybe block certain co-workers at work just to keep your sanity you need to do you need to go exercise you need to know what works for you okay and being aware that these behaviors are going to uh, occur in others or maybe even within yourself and how are you going to deal with it right always being aware is always first step is always being aware okay that's the first uh one, one of the one of the problems that may occur the second one is that you might actually be might get to get the coronavirus and what will you do you might have to self-quarantine right so when that happens really internalizing that God is always with you right God is always with you he is closer to you than your own jugular vein right jugular vein and realizing that he's you're never alone so you might be sleeping in one room by yourself because you're self-quarantining from your family but understanding that you will get through this having faith right understanding that God won't put you through anything that you cannot handle right the more you remember him the more he will remember you remembering those um verses those hadiths uh and rem reminding yourself of this that you are never alone he is always walking with you okay so that's number two number three time management that will be another big issue because remember now you have a new dynamic at play right your your regular schedule routines have been changed so now what do you do in this dynamic how will you change your how will you come up with the schedule with this your new d dynamic right your new routines so again identifying what works for you right i'm coming with a, a schedule an exercise schedule a schedule for your uh work schedule office hours and then a time with your children and 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 so really literally coming with times and what time is what what will happen with each time right so you have to be very very you have to get specific so those are the three the neurotic behaviors will increase self-quarantine might occur hospitalization may occur keeping yourself grounded right remembering that you're never alone this is part of the process and then time management right and keeping yourself healthy cry if you need to processing those emotions um cry if you need to you will cry and it's okay cry 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 let it out then get back up then maybe another day you're gonna cry 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 again and then you're gonna get back up and it's okay it's okay it's part of a healing process okay now what are some learnings what are some learnings and this is the one i'm this part i'm really excited to talk to you about what are the learnings number one is what one i already said is to realign us it us it's here to challenges are here to help us reset and prioritize put things into uh, perspective again and prioritize so number one is your resting number two you have quality time with your children number three this number three this gives you time to heal maybe you went through it's it's going to help it's going to force you to face into yourself and heal like heal years of things that you may have dealt with or not dealt with you know or fully dealt with um it's here to remember help you remember who is really in control God, God, God. Um, it'll give you more time to reflect, right? It'll help you see your children grow, make memories with them. It'll help you turn your phone off and get off those devices after work hours. It'll help you renew your goals, right? Push you, your, your individual purpose, your family purpose. Uh, it'll help, as I said, it'll help you face into yourselves again, connect with extended family, immediate family, uh, it'll help, like I said, push your family goals, uh, home, home cooked food again in the home, right? Uh, you're saving money because you're not going, stopping at D&D &D every second and Starbucks and ordering out. It's forcing you to put things into perspective. Think about this. You're learning to conserve food, right? Uh, you're, you're learning to, if you have housekeepers, you're not having housekeepers over now. Now you're learning to care for yourself, clean, buy, clean your home yourself, um, 
I'll de help decrease social media addictions, especially for teenagers and 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 young young preteens, because it there it's basically teaching again. The universe is teaching us how to use social media properly, right? Uh, so a lot of blessings in here, right? There are really a lot of blessings in here. Um, you'll it's giving you a renewed vision of uh people you took for granted, right? Like grocery workers and, and teachers and and uh, healthcare workers because they're on the front lines, right? So it's again, it's I'll go back to it's realigning us. It's realigning us. This is realigning us. It's really here as a blessing and you need to see this. Uh, and again, it's not personal, right? It's not personal. Don't get consumed by the fear. Do not get consumed by the fear. Um, it's helping us again stay present. It's all of this, every every single learning that I mentioned has to do with presence, right? It's increasing our presence. It's helping us heal, right? Uh, now, lastly, I'm gonna add, talk about some solutions. Okay, some solutions. What are some solutions? Uh, <clears throat> number one is change your perspective. Right, this entire talk was just about changing your perspective. Number two, uh, rest, uh, pray, decrease social media, meditate, um, have a tight schedule as far as uh, morning routines goes, and work schedule, and balancing children in the home, running around, um, cry, 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 right, and um, just. Lastly, uh, in addition, I want you to also remember like the per that per always saying to yourself, this is a blessing in disguise. This is a blessing in disguise. Oh my goodness. Look, my commute is, I don't have to commute anymore right now. At this right now, I don't have the su Sunday anxiety, right? Where we have to get the kids, kids lunches ready and we have to get, you know, we have no time for our spouses. And, you know, there's that one Saturday that we have time to really spend with our families. But guess what? You have more than like a month right now to be with your families, see your children grow, right? Connect with your teenager, connect with your spouse, right? Uh, deal with things that you haven't dealt with, right? Make that telemental health uh, appointment with your therapist, whatever it is, healing, so much healing that is going to be to occur at this time. It's such a blessing. It really is. Some grounding exercises, like I mentioned, I would say every time you feel fearful, high fear chatter, high fear chatter. Anytime you get upset over other people's actions or just, you know, again, detaching, understanding that they're not you, you are you, um, saying hi other people's chatter, hi other people's action chatter. Anytime you start analyzing, right? Hi analyzing chatter. So these are some grounding exercises that you can do definitely take one hour to exercise uh breathing watch your breathing like <sighs> uh connect put some meditation music on right just sit in silence and just watch the trees the leaves outside your window or wherever you are your balcony um uh watch shows that that make you laugh right just trivial shows that positive obviously but just just relax like when have you done that right our society teaches us to just be on the go on the go work hard work hard this is teaching us to work less in a in a in a spiritual way where you rest you rest and you heal and you connect right um, and maybe this will teach us long term uh, to make this a new habit a new way of being present right this is a maybe this will teach us long-term living of just breathing you know and just being being versus just doing all the time being I really hope this has helped I really really hope this has helped and I'm here for you all I'm sending you my love my prayers to all the families out there to my students to my clients to every to humanity as a whole change your perspective realign your vision this is a blessing in disguise and nothing happens without the will of god not even a leaf falls without his will 
right? So this is happening. Let's accept it. Let's process the emotions that go with it. And then take the appropriate actions, right? Come up with a tight schedule. Come up with routines. Come up with uh, exercise times and and connect, you know, prayer times where we, you know, in, in addition to our regular prayers, where are we really adding those thicker times and reading the holy book and and just and just being happy and carefree in this really really difficult time, but being carefree really because it's already pre-planned. It's not personal, right? God loves us no matter what, right? So trusting him, trusting him. And if you're self-quarantined right now, listen, you are not alone. He is with you. Feel his presence. Feel God's presence, okay? I am sending you all my love and my prayers, okay? May peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.